Welcome to the 2015 Pan American Games on ESPN, presented by Cricket Wireless. A stormy look at the Toronto skyline as the city's holding firm as we're now into day seven of these Pan American Games. Fans, there they are at Nathan Phillips Square, the epicenter of where you can view everything, and we'll be in a lot of places handing out a lot of medals on this Friday, including the American women. If they want to win gold here in basketball, they're going to have to win five games in five days. They won yesterday over Brazil. Brianna Stewart and company in action against the Dominican Republic will get you out there. Wrestling, the U.S. exceeding expectations in Greco-Roman. It is now the turn of the freestyle wrestlers. You'll see Adeline Gray and many other decorated wrestlers. We saw Natalie Coughlin get silver in the 100-meter freestyle. She'll have a chance to strike gold in the 50-meter tonight. A busy day in the pool as the U.S. really emerging in the aquatic center. Here is what else we have on tap. Eight events from swimming. Basketball will get you full coverage live out there as the United States take on the Dominican Republic. And the men's elimination match in beach volleyball. If Miles Evans and Ian Satterfield want to make the quarterfinals, they must beat Uruguay tonight that's just the tip of the iceberg so much more welcome in i am max Bredos, joined here by cynthia potter international swimming hall of famer and olympic medalist five uh medal races yesterday the u.s took gold in four of the five they've set the table nicely what can we expect here tonight i think now that they have some momentum and they won a relay yesterday which they take great pride in their relays then I think we can see a lot of Americans going for all the medals because they all qualified from the preliminaries into the finals. That means they'll be in the top eight no matter what. And we have two women in the opening race that we're going to get you out to, the 400-meter freestyle, including uh, the woman here, Kira Jansen, Cynthia, who got the fastest time in qualifying. Yeah, Kira Jansen did a great job in the preliminaries, and her teammate, Jillian Ryan, who will be in lane two is the defending champion. So lane two and lane four, Americans, but the fastest qualifiers always in lane four. I wanted to say this, Kira Jansen from the hotbed of swimming that is White Bear Lake, Minnesota. <laughs> and we'll get out to Steve Armitage, Byron McDonald for the coverage of our first rate of the night. The start list for the women's 400 meter freestyle final. Pinto of Venezuela in five, Jansen of the U.S. in four, Lirio of Brazil in three. The lone Canadian to make the final, Emily Overholt, will have lane eight at the top of your screen. Eight lengths of the pool, the women's 400 free final. So as I was saying, this is very, very interesting to see what Overholt can do. Overholt should be able to challenge for the medals. The young 17-year-old Canadian from the Vancouver area is at the top of your screen. The other reason it's interesting is the one, the swimmers in the middle aren't necessarily going to be able to see here. And I'm sure the coaches have said, go out for it, Emily, go out for it, and stay in the race as long as you can. And if everything comes together, you got a shot at winning this thing. Eight is at the top of your picture, one at the bottom. And off the wall is the 17-year-old swimming for Canada, Emily Overholt, who was DQ'd in the women's 400 IM after finishing first. In a huge upset of the American Olympic medalist. So that was a great swim taken away. She was able to get up and do a great relay right after that. However, I think it took its toll on her morning swim this morning. But now back in the hunt for sure. They come to the wall, they will touch turnover, having completed 100 meters of this 400 free distance. Overhold Evans and Pinto. Evans swimming for the Bahamas in lane six. Pinto for Venezuela in five. And Pinto in lane number five, you can see the middle lanes, lanes four and five, one at the bottom, lane four and five, a ring by the yellow buoys to help identify the middle pool, middle of the pool. So lane number four is the rookie Jansen. Lane number five is Pinto from Venezuela. She's a distant swimmer. She'll go out and control the first half of the race, and then she'll come storming home at the end as the woman in lane number five. Overholt, first off the wall, followed by Evans and Pinto. The women's 400 free, the final. Emily Overholt, way up in lane number eight, the youngest member in her first international games team last year at the Commonwealth Games. This year, she is still the youngest member on the Canadian national team. She may steal this one for lane eight. 
She's coming to the wall. She'll touch. And the women will reach the halfway point of the 400 meter freestyle. Overhaul, Pinto, and Evans. Well, we're saying she might steal it. The downside, of course, is that this crowd is so loud that the swimmers in the middle are going to say, I think they're cheering for Overhaul, so she must be up there and racing us pretty well. And sure enough, Overhaul up in lane number eight has been identified as one of the future stars of Canadian swimming. I think she's gotten over that difficulty she had in the preliminaries when she barely made it into this final, and she's in a race. It looks like she might be slowing down just a bit, but it is Overhaul still leading the field to the wall. Pinto and Luria. I'm sure the other coaches must have said, look out for Overhaul. They certainly would have. And Pinto is the one that I think has got the best chance to challenge. She's in lane number five. There she is now asserting herself, moving ahead of the rest of the pack. And she just took a look over to see where Bauman, to see where Overhaul was up there in lane number eight. Pinto was 4-12-4-3 in qualifying for the final. Overhaul was 4-18-2-1. Overhaul, Pinto, and Lirio as they head back up the pool. Last night in the 400 meter individual medley, Overhaul hauled down the American medalist and had a great freestyle leg. This will be a tough one. Pinto is an 800 meter freestyle, an experienced medal winner at the Pan Ams. Going to come down to the last rank. Pinto making a move on Overhaul. They're heading to the wall. They will touch turnover and have less than 50 meters to go now in the final of the women's 400 free. The battle between Overholt and Pinto is fully joined. Here they come. And Overholt looked like she was having trouble going in the other direction. She's now looking right over. Right, look at her. Look at her right over in lane number eight. Looking over at Pinto. This reminds me of a Seabiscuit race. 10 meters to go in the women's 400 free. It's a battle between Overhaul and Pinto as they drive to the wall and the goal to the 17-year-old from British Columbia and a Pan Am record for Emily Overhaul, 408-42 from lane eight. Pinto gets the silver, and the bronze goes to Jillian Ryan of the United States. What a swim. What a comeback for Emily Overhaul. Great race. Emily Overholt out of lane eight, pipping Adrena Pinto for the gold. Jillian Ryan of the United States does come in and get the bronze medal. We saw Chantel Van Landingham and maybe another young, great Canadian swimmer developing on the women's side. Uh, Emily Overholt just swam a brilliant race, and she was in the outside lane. You don't know if anybody in the middle of the pool could see her very well, but she was taking a look at the middle of the pool as she came home, and she raced that last 50 meters, which is amazing when you talk about a 400-meter race. It was terrific. Uh, just a teenager, and... It's interesting when you see it because lane four is the number one qualifying lane. How often do you see that where someone out of lane eight or lane one doesn't get the best qualifying but saves themselves for the final? Well, you know, and she got disqualified previously. And so, you know, the 17-year-old comes back and does this. This is amazing. And Canada's going to depend on people like Emily Overholt and her particularly when it gets to the World Championships. She is going to the World Championships. She's going to go to Russia. None of the American women are allowed or team are allowed to go and swim in that. That's the way the Americans have this thing orchestrated that the Pan Am team cannot go and swim in the World Championships. But she is an amazing talent at 17 years old. She gets disqualified one night, comes back and wins in record time. Yep the next night, and that is something to behold. What a career this young woman has and is going to have. <laughs> Broke the record by almost two seconds, so the Canadian crowd was something to cheer about there.